So what that showcases is that there is not only the, the broader, moderate grade, open pitable type um, zinc lead, but there's actually high grade mineralization um, within those feeders. But what was significant as well was that we saw, we started to intercept some significant copper and silver at depth. So what it's suggesting to us is that the zinc lead that we're seeing near surface is the distal halo to potentially large scale copper deposits at depth. Hello, welcome to Assay TV. I'm joined once again by Shane Sikora, who is the Managing Director of Rumble Resources. Rumble hit the headlines in 2021 with the discovery of their Iriheady zinc lead project in Western Australia. Uh, Shane, great to see you uh, here today. Uh, it's been a few a few months since we've, we've, we've spoken, but a lot's happened with the company uh, since then. You've obviously grown a lot in size and you've been doing, I think, sort of 50,000 50, metres of, of RC and, and diamond drilling uh, to sort of hone in on, on, on some targets and identify and really get to understand your, your Erehadi uh, discovery there. Um, tell us what you've been up to over the past uh, few months. Oh, thanks, uh, Leo. Good morning. And yes, it's been a little while. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to update your listeners on uh, Rumble Resources. Well, last year, um, we had the transformational year, as you said, at the Eredi uh, Discovery. Uh, we made that in sort of circa April last year. And, and since then, we've been rapidly uh, developing that project with over 50,000 metres of drilling. Now, that drilling wasn't just designed to make discoveries. It was designed to try and unlock that base metal system. And Based on the uh, drilling to date, uh, the metal budget we found, what's becoming quite evident is we're starting to see an emerging base metal system with a uh, provincial scale. Now, to date, we've received uh, 25 or 50%, sorry, of those uh, 50,000 metres, and we've unlocked some key areas. We found the Chinook Prospect, which is now 4Ks by 2Ks in open in all directions. And we also, uh, eight kilometres to the southeast, uncovered the Tonka Magazine and Navajo trend which is now uh, 6Ks, uh, 1.2Ks in open all directions. Um, and that's the flat lying, open pitable type uh, mineralization. Mm. And within the Chinook pro prospect, you've been focusing in on this new feeder zone, the, the Calatan feeder zone, where you're finding some higher grades. What does that sort of mean for the, for the project overall? Yeah, so as we've um, been doing the drilling, we're obviously getting some key learnings in geophysics through our drilling, through our geochemistry. And what we're seeing is that there are higher um, uh, um, grades of mineralization along these structures. Well, they were inferred structures at, at some point in time, but uh, we started to get our eye in and we started to predict where they particularly would be. And so late last year, we had a really nice intercept of uh, sort of over 80 meters of mineralization with a sort of 37 meters at three and a half percent within that some higher grade. Um, we followed it up 800 metres to the southeast and we hit another big significant intercept, which was circa 50 metres at 5% uh, zinc lead. We had 20 metres at 9% zinc lead and within that 10 metres at 15%. So what that showcases is that there is not only the, the broader, moderate grade, open pitable type um, zinc lead, but there's actually high grade mineralisation um, within those feeders. But what was significant as well was that we saw, we started to intercept some significant copper and silver at depth. So what it's suggesting to us is that the zinc lead that we're seeing near surface is the distal halo to potentially large scale copper deposits at depth. And we've only really focused on that first layer to date and only one feeder. We've inferred a whole series of feeders throughout the whole course of the 42 kilometers. So our um, initial um, drilling at the start of this year, we you know, following up this 2.3 kilometer Calatan feeder zone in the shallow portions. We're also gonna get some diamond drilling to start targeting the really exciting um, potential high grade feeders at depth. Uh, when we talk about at depth, I mean, how, how deep do you have plan to go for the diamond drilling? Well, it depends on the location. The, the mineralization actually dips deeper to the east. And as it comes to the west, it sort of shallows. But in particular at the Chinook Prospect, we're talking uh, you know, 200 metres down um, is where we've actually intercepted the mineralization at this point in the RC. Uh, we need, need to now start using the diamond drilling to start targeting at uh, deeper uh, positions. Um, so you've, you've, you've spent a lot of this time drilling, really getting to understand the Chinook prospect there with these new feeder zones and this possible uh, more deposits at depth. Are you planning to replicate that across your other prospects at uh, Tonka Magazine and Navajo? Yeah, I think that the Chinook prospect is going to be a great template for the remaining of the project. So, what well, you know, well, clearly we've seen a really large footprint, at 4Ks by 2Ks, but we're now starting to see a high grade feeders. And now that we've got this new geological understanding, we can start replicating that all the way through the 42Ks. And in particular, 
we can see at Tonka Magazine and Navajo over that 6Ks, there is a series of feeders there as well. So yeah, we definitely will. And it actually puts us in good stead for the um, the new newly granted tenement that we have next door, um, which we call the Sweetwater Prospect. Mm. Do you want to tell us a little bit about more, more about that? That that extends your your uh, area of exploration quite quite significantly. Yeah. So Leo, what's exciting is uh, that the newly granted tenement is actually the extension to the Chinook Prospect, which is already four k's and uh, by two k's in open all directions, and the mineralisation goes right up to the border of that tenement. And what we've uncovered is over 15 kilometres of strike out to the west. Um, and what we've done today is some magnetic airborne magnetics, which is showing the same features we're seeing at Chinook and Tonka go all the way across that uh, 15 kilometres of strike. There's only been two holes drilled in that whole area, 12 k's away, where they hit significant or well, uh, big broad zones of zinc lead sulphide that shows us that the mineralisation does continue across. We're seeing a whole series of feeders um, across that, um, that region as well, plus some really interesting domal features, which are great traps for metal to settle. So where we're at with that one is we're looking to get some heritage surveys completed in the first part of uh, March this year. And then as soon as that's uh, granted, then we're going to be drilling across there. And to be honest, there's no reason why the mineralisation doesn't continue all the way across that 15 k's of strike. Fantastic. And you've had to, you know, significantly upsize your team um, to do all this, uh, to, to do all this work. Tell us about the, you know, the, the look of Rumble Resources as a company these days. So we now, um, we started with uh, three of us in the office and obviously had some external consultants, but to really um, ensure we can rapidly advance the project, we've now um, introduced a whole series of new senior managers. We brought on Peter Venn, um, who's had 20 years experience with the Brett at Resolute has put 10 uh, mines into production across Australia and Africa. He's got a real strong uh, capabilities in um, uh, development. He's going to be focusing on our MET and pre-concentrate work. We've got uh, Mark Carter, GM of Operations, 20 years of mine geology. We've got Ben Jones, who's our chief geologist now, highly technical geo that's worked with Brett over a number of years. It's helping unlock this uh, discovery. And now we've got um, Luke Timmons too, who's our senior project manager, really experienced geo. Um, that's all about systems and process and making sure that we uh, really develop the project. But we've now got 10 GOs, 15 fieldies to really bolster the team to enable, enable us to really fast track the development of the project. Mm. And, uh, you know, you mentioned there fast track the project. What should um, we be looking out for over the next coming months in terms of sort of key, key highlights? So a key thing to note is that 50% of that 50,000 um, metres of assays are still in the lab at the moment. So you've got some really nice news flow. Uh, and in, in, that, uh, in those assays, for all those holes, and interpreted to hit that Calatan feeder zone. So we expect to get some really nice hits there. We're going to be, you know, really um, focusing on that high-grade feeder zone in the shallows, but at the depths as well. And, and once that uh, tenant next door has been cleared, then you've got the strike extent across from Chinook. So all in all, we've got a really exciting year as we really start to unlock the project. We think we just found the tip of the iceberg, if you want for a better word, um, where... You know, to date, what we found uh, near surface could be replicated at depth and maybe something even bigger. Mm, absolutely. And, and you know, the, the zinc market has been quite helpful as well along the way. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we also managed to uh, elevate our um, exploration target to 100, 120 million tonnes at three and a half to four and a half percent zinc lead uh, at open pitable depths. To date, uh, with the zinc lead price and the gold price, four uh, percent is circa 2.2 grams. So, 100 million tonne type target is 6 million ounces at 2.2 grams uh, gold open pit equivalent. Um, and I think what you'll see um, that we, we believe we've got something much bigger than that as we progress the project. Excellent. Well, best of luck with the drilling and all the work you've got ahead of you. And we look forward to having a, a further update uh, later in the year. Thanks, Leo. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Shane.